Hi, this is Daniel Hutchins, and today we're going to be doing a couple of uh, reviews for some uh, comic books I just bought just about a couple of days ago. Okay, so the first book we're going to be reviewing is Marvel's X number 5. As you can see, I have Captain America on the X. Okay. So, how this is going to work is I'm going to look through the book and I'm going to tell you what my thoughts are about, about it. So, okay. So, there is a intro in the beginning of the book that says, In a world that will come to be known as Earth-X, Mysterious plagues have given everyone superpowers, and chaos runs rampant. A young boy named David is the last ordinary human on Earth. His only hope of survival was by tracking down what remains of Earth's superheroes. But then after David had sought help from his heroes, he and Spider-Man were attacked by a mutated Craven the Hunter, and then Craven then attempted to incite David into killing him. However, David was spared the Decision by the arrival of the Fantastic Four and the Avengers who hope that David holds the cure for their mutations. Okay. So that's the intro for this book of Marvel's X. Okay, so... The first couple pages are really, really colorful pages that have um, the Avengers and... It kind of breaks down just what's been happening with them and stuff. And they realize that there was an attack on the Baxter building. Okay, so they realized that Reed Richard had done some experiments. And some of them kind of went haywire. And then... Some of the other heroes, of course, like the Avengers and the Defenders and even the X-Men later come to the Baxter building to see what is going on with um, these experiments. And Spider-Man's also there too. And he said... I'm sorry, but I need to go with all this craziness going on here. I need to make sure my Aunt May is okay. Okay, so... Of course, the Avengers and the rest of the heroes, they stick around and try to help Reed with uh, trying to figure out what's wrong with uh, these uh, tests that they did. So... Then, of course, there is also some moments where where the X-Men mutant, known as the Beast, comes in and tries to help tries to help Reed out with uh, his situation, and he's like, okay. I'm going to see what's going on. And he's like, okay. And then they work on it then. And then there's also a brief moment in this book. Where there is a moment where there is Iceman and Angel. And they were having some hell of a time out in the open in the streets. And... Then, um, Spider-Man says, oh, thanks, Bobby, you just gave me a great idea. And then, and then, hours later, Spider-Man, as his self, Peter Parker, comes to visit someone, and then he says, oh, long t it's been a long time. I'm really, really sorry. And then 
So then Spidey's just hanging out with this girl here and trying to make sure that she's comfortable again. And then, and then um, the rest of the heroes are being attacked at the Baxter building. And that concludes the the book that I have for for Marvel's X number five. Okay, so the second book I want to review and tell you about is Marvel's Snapshot Spider Man. Okay, so there's a cover page saying who it's written by. And then it just jumps into the story. And of course, they were actually underground in a subway. And then these kids are getting attacked. And then Spider Man comes in. And then Spider Man saves these kids. And then. And then. Things happen afterward that with some more kids on the book and then so it's like I didn't want to disturb you I didn't want you to think that the cops were on to you and then this guy said always thought you were always thought you were so thoughtful you are and then he said, I gotta tell you, I have no clue now you're so okay with this super stuff. And he's like, what do you mean? And then he says, you've never been happy, but I can dig it. But with, with what we both know, you gotta know. And you gotta grow with the times. And then he's like, somebody's talking on the radio. And okay, and then the guy's like, let's you and me get a drink and figure out where we go from here. Okay, so these two guys they go to a pub uh downtown somewhere and then later they get out of the pub and they're on a walk and then there's some more Chit chat and conversation in this book, and then after that, then they're like, then they're like, sounds like you like you've got some plans wrapped around you. Uh, looks like we got some big plans which call for big money, and. Then, and then the two guys are just joking around and kidding around at the bar. And then now they're back home and for a brief moment. And then they're back at the pub again. And they're at the pub and they said, We're both hard for some cash right now, but it's complicated. I figure if we take advantage of the superpower warfare to snatch some super suits and get into the business ourselves. One of these super bad guy armor, you mean? And he's like, and we become super villains? Exactly. And he's like, exactly. And then he's like, and then some guy had snatched the stilt man's armor. And then they briefly mentioned about Daredevil for a brief moment. About taking out someone. And then. And then this woman comes up and is like. My loser brother. I expect nothing from you. And then they're like why? And then. And then they kind of like go into a fight. And an argument. And then it's like. And then they. And then the next day, the guy's at work, and then he's like, Okay, so what? A truck? I mean, a man 
I mean, no, super stuff. See you there. And it's like, the other guy's like, it's on. And then, the, and then the other woman is like, yeah, I put that together. And just to be crystal clear, cops will get you and you'll lose my number. And then, of course, there's some crazy motorist going through New Jersey. And then they're uh, saying, oh, I traded up for a new piece of hardware. More super crap. I thought I made it queer. Chill out there. It's going to be fine. And then... And then, of course, it ended up being the Tinkerer. And then, so not only the Tinkerer was there, also, we get to see, for a brief moment, the Hobgoblin. For a quick one panel, we get to see the Hobgoblin. And then... Then they say, that's armor's painted a target on your back. And now... You and I are going to be collateral damage to the big shot schemes. And he said, oh, I said I was sorry. And then, and then they get a surprise from someone again who ends up uh, visiting them. And it ends up being the guy named Whiplash. And, and then so... They encounter with Whiplash, but then Spider-Man comes in, and then Spider-Man intervenes, and Spider-Man stops the Whiplash. The guys are like, hmm, okay, so Spider-Man helped us, that's cool. And so then, now they're sitting at a diner, and they were talking about some things, and then... Next, there's another page that has something that says, What else do you mean when you're dealing with a chump? Am I right? And he's like, can we talk? And I said, he's treating us like idiots. And the guy's like, we're finished here. If the shoe fits, only an idiot would think they could get away with this. Okay. So then... The guys are back at the pub again for another night. And then the next day, they uh, look like they uh, move out. And then, of course, they move out of the neighborhood. And then um, there's, and then there's the Falcon on one of the other pages and then that kind of concludes that book so yeah like i said um those are just my thoughts about what was happening within these two books here the marvel's x number five and the marvel snapshot spider-man number one okay so actually to tell you the truth i got those books back about couple days ago which means I actually got them actually on Wednesday last week and of course they were both for a good bargain because I got them at my one of my local comic book stores that's probably just about several miles up from me and I'm like yeah so I picked up those books and I just thought, oh yeah, I just want to do my reviews and just kind of talk about each of them. So uh, right now I'm just going to relax. I'm just going to try to get into some Beverly Hillbillies on uh, my TV then. And yeah, I'm just going to maybe do some uh, video or so or something tomorrow. So um yeah, you guys uh, enjoy your day. Bye.